everyone. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Thank you for tuning in. This is the Art Center of the Grand Prairie by Miss Kara. We are going to learn how to make a balloon animal painting. I hope you're ready. Okay, so step one, we need to lay out our materials. I've got a marker, I've got my watercolor paper, I've got several paint brushes. You really just need one. I just have a few extra in here and a cup of water. So the first step to drawing our animal, our balloon animal, is to take our marker and step one is to draw a sideways U. We want to start not in the center of our paper, kind of towards the outside, up kind of towards the top. Sideways U, just like that. Now we're going to connect that with another, with an oval, just like this. I'm going to add a little line in there, kind of like that. And then we're going to make the knot. So we're going to go around like this, another oval as a knot. This is going to be the start of our nose for our balloon animal. Now what we want to do is make the head. So what we're going to do is we're going to start about right here where we made the knot. We're going to go around in an oval shape just like this. Good job. So what we're going to do now is start with the ears. We're going to start in the back of the oval, draw a straight line up. We're going to make both ears at the same time, and we're going to use this line to do it. Alright, so the first ear is going to go up over this line, around like this, towards the back of the head. The next ear is going to go up and around, down on top of the head. That looks kind of like a hot dog bun to me, but they're going to be ears. So there's our head. It's starting to come along. All right, so now we're gonna start with the legs. You would think we'd do the neck next, but we're actually gonna do the legs because if we make the neck too long, we're gonna have a giraffe looking animal, which I guess you could do, but we're just gonna do like maybe a dog or this could even be a cat. What we're gonna do now is draw the leg and this oval is going to be kind of pointed outward so it's not going to be too far from the head about right there we're just going to make a large oval down and around like that good job now we can make the neck we're going to go from kind of the top back side of the leg up around still that oval shape to to the head just like that and we're gonna pretend that this oval continues through here up around just like that good job all right and now we're on to the second leg what we're gonna do now is start up on top of the neck about right there we're gonna go down oval shape and around like that great job and now we're ready to draw the body. What we're gonna do is start about right there on the neck. We're gonna draw our oval. It's gonna be kind of long, so go all the way down, around, oval shape, and back. Just like that. And now we're ready for the back legs. Since these legs are going forward, we're going to make the back legs kind of turn backwards, just like this. It's just an oval shape. And then we're going to draw one more for the back leg. I'm going to start about right there. Around and up, just like that. Great job. I think we're done. Oh wait, what am I missing? The tail. All right. So we're going to start in the back where the tail would be and we're going to draw another oval. Now, I don't know if you've ever seen a balloon animal artist, but what they do 
is they always leave a little space like this that's not quite blown up. And now we're finished. What do y'all think? We're finished with the drawing part. Now we're ready to put our marker up. Get our water cup with our paint brush. I'm gonna use this one. And I'm gonna put my water cup to the side. I'm gonna need my paint brush to be a little wet. And what I wanna do is take the wet paint brush and I want to put it on the line of my marker. <gasps> Look what's happening. What is it doing? It's pulling the color. Look. Wow. All right. This will create the balloon texture. Does anybody know what texture is? It's the way something looks and feels. So whenever you look at a balloon, can you see through it? Yes, usually you can. This is gonna create that illusion. Oh, that's a big word, illusion. That, so it looks like a real balloon. So my paintbrush, I haven't dipped my paintbrush in water yet. My paintbrush is still pretty wet. And I'm just gonna go around the entire balloon animal and pull that color out of those lines. Looks like my brush is starting to dry out, so I'm gonna get just a little bit more water on it. It's not much water, a little bit more, and I'm gonna mix that color in. Let's blend it really well. Try your very hardest to stay in the lines. There we go. Need a little bit more water. All right, so I'm going to finish this up and I will show you what it looks like whenever I'm done. All right, here is my final piece. Don't forget to sign your work. All right, and as you can see, there's a few lines that kind of faded out. Whenever it's dry, you can take your marker and you can fill those back in if you want. I'm gonna put a few lines right here that way it looks like the balloon is pulling in. You could even add an eye if you wanted to. And there it is. This almost kind of looks like a puppy or a bunny. 